this week's video of uh, converting the Aiko daily into an RV or campervan. I will tell you more about planning the trip to North Cape, brake warning light, sticker residue removal, lead bar straightening, planning water and shore power distribution box. This warning light has started to show on my dashboard. It is supposed to warn you about the brake fluid level or wear on your front disc brake pads. The brake fluid level is okay, so most likely this has to do with the brake pads being worn or some sort of problem with the cabling. If you are a new subscriber or you haven't subscribed yet, I will let you know that this channel is about travel and photography. I recently gained over 34 new subscribers, most likely due to a old video being popular. I usually publish a video every week, usually on Tuesdays. In the last two weeks, not that much has happened when it comes to this conversion. I have worked on several different small things, such as uh, trying to remove the sticky residue. I was able to remove it by using a alcohol liquid, uh, but unfortunately this even meant that uh, some of the old paint also went away. So I had to repaint this part. The front LED bar is uh, right above the license plate. And this means that uh, since I'm parking along the street, people might uh, bump into me when they are trying to park. So I decided to straighten the, this LED bar. And now it looks uh, good again. I will not do any big installations when it comes to water or uh, shower or uh, toilet. Instead, I'm going to use these two 20 liter cans to hold my water. I have decided not to install any propane tanks or other ways of cooking my food. Instead, I'm going to use a microwave oven or perhaps this uh, alcohol burning uh, and uh, to be able to use the microwave oven. I've decided to, to add the option to use shore power. So in Sweden we do have these one phase 230 volt sockets. So uh, this will be the input from either a power generator or just a hookup. And uh, then we do have this that's going to fit all of my things. This RCCB is going to be the first one. And then some of these uh, fuses are going to be placed in here. Most likely mount this uh, power distribution box in the back of the storage compartment and then have uh, one or two outlets in the living compartment. And I think this is good enough. Even a simple thing as a microwave oven or a water cooker will easily use up to 1000 watts of electricity. The easiest way to do this is actually to use shore power somehow. Uh, it would be possible to use a inverter to convert my 12 volt leisure battery to 230 volts, but uh, there are so high currents needed to do this. So I've decided uh, not to use such a thing. I have come a long way when planning my trip to the North Cape and back. So uh, this is the route that I'm going to take. I will start down here south in Uppsala and then go to North Cape, back to Tromsø, Lofoten, Trondheim and uh, back again. And the main focus for this trip will be to of course have it as a vacation and also take uh, lovely photos of this part of Sweden and Norway. And that's why I have added several new things to my camera bag and uh, in the next week's episode I will let you know what the new ones are. If you don't want to miss next week's episode then you should uh, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.